Yo, so um, pretty exciting day for me today. It's been a while. Uh, I'll give you a bit of background. For those of you who don't know me personally, uh, for the past year and a half uh, or so, I've um, basically given up a, a 10 year career and decided to do something that I've always wanted to do and that's to start my own cleaning business. And um, I'm proud to say it's gone from strength to strength. Um, it's been a challenge. I'm by no means a businessman or anything like that. I've got no experience of running a business, so I've pretty much had to wing it throughout and uh, teach myself along the way, and it has been a big learning curve, but I'm proud to say it's gone from strength to strength, and um, yeah, it's going pretty well, and I'm absolutely loving it. So um, what you see before us is uh, a little treat to myself. Um, for all the hard work I've put in, I've decided to finally uh, get myself a little present, and uh, it's probably the first big thing I've bought, or big piece of equipment I've bought for the business as well. Uh, most of the equipment I've been using is pretty much uh, hand-me-downs from friends or um, gifts that have been donated or things that I've had before. So this is the first brand new vacuum cleaner that I've bought for my business. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing video um, to document the event. It's quite a big deal for me. So here we are. Um, yeah, it's quite a tough decision. There's lots to choose from and um, had lots of uh, things to take into account, but I finally settled on a Kerstar. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kerstar are made just up the road in Northampton. They're British made, been around since 1959, and they make some really fantastic cleaners. So they've got quite a big range, and um, I rang them up and spoke to them, and uh, discussed my needs and you know what I was gonna be using the cleaner for, and their staff are absolutely fantastic, really friendly, really helpful. Uh, can't thank them enough actually and um, we've settled on uh, a KV10 which is a um, very nice little machine it's uh, been in production quite a long time actually um, certainly since the early 80s I've had a KV10 in the past that was from 1986 you'll see a video of that elsewhere on my channel um, and yeah I decided to go for that it was between this really it sort of boiled down to this and a, a new Pneumatic NQS 250. Chose the Kerstar purely because I wanted to be different. <laughs> you know, everyone goes for pneumatics and for good reason, they're fantastic, don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, felt like a change. So here we are, it's just arrived literally in the last five minutes. Um, I've already opened the box because it was stapled up and um, I didn't fancy trying to do it with one hand. So, um, right, let's get cracking. I'll say it's the first uh, new vac I've treated myself to in quite a while. Wow, look at that. Right, so what we've got first? We've got those, pretty long. I'm actually not sure how many metres it is, but it looks pretty long. And we've got some ones. Pretty much standard stainless steel commercial ones. There you go, instruction manual. Also, one of the reasons I went for this cleaner is it's it's quite a, a retro one, and I'm a lover of all things retro. So um, I love the fact that they've stayed true to their original design. It's barely changed in the last 30, 40 years. There you go, Kerstar, Northampton. Exciting there, but anyway, that's that. We have one bent end, very similar to pneumatic, but different at the same time. It's actually there we go. It's got it's actually Kerstar branded. That's quite a nice little touch. Just seeing on the ratings plate there. I love that, I love the fact it's been hand, um, what's the word, I can't think of the word I'm looking for at the moment, but it's actually been inscribed by hand, that's awesome, that is so cool, little uh, Union Jack sticker there, just so you know where it's from, obviously proud to be made in Britain still, there's not many uh, vacuum cleaner companies left in Britain, apart from uh, Pneumatic, I think now Dyson have gone elsewhere, I think it pretty much is Pneumatic and Kerstar. There you go, it's going to be awkward to do by hand, I might have to put you down, so... Bear with. Yeah, 
you're going to have to bear me. I'll put you down for a second. Okay, so I'll try that again. Um, got the top off now. So here we have, we've got the machine itself. Let me just lift this up. Hey, look at that. That is a serious bit of kit. That is awesome. Absolutely chuffed to bits with this. So, right, we'll talk a little bit more about the machine in a second. Nice long cable. A fitted plug, of course. Um, right, we've got the tools. Pretty much just your generic 32mm tools. We've got nice big dusting brush actually with very soft bristles. I like that, that's brilliant. Uh, Postry tool. Holes, and that's got bristles too. It's a bit like a Sebo does. Trying to get this camera to focus. There we go. Yeah, the upholstery tool, side channels, and box standards, two pedal floor tool, and a crevice tool and hand adapter. Same as a pneumatic. So I'll put those aside for a second. Right, that, nothing else. So here we are, here's the machine itself. Really attractive looking machine actually. I love the fact it's um, so retro looking. Lots of uh, curve style branding, I like that, nice little touches. Um, yeah. So I think we've got how many casters? One, two, three, four casters. quality of this is fantastic. It's absolutely solid. You know that this is going to last a lifetime. So it's um, pressed steel, powder coated. Got a blower port, which is handy. With a diffuser. There we go. Uh, got up to date pat test. 26th of November last year. Uh, it's been been in stock for a while. Try and focus it again. Nice solid clips. Just the two. Okay, so I lift the top off. There we go. Yeah, this hasn't changed one bit since. Uh, yeah, so it's the 1986 model I had before. It's almost identical, actually. So what we got here? We got a yeah, nice cloth filter, very thick. It was thicker than a pneumatic one, actually. Paper bags. Well, I think there is the option of um, sort of microfiber HEPA-flow style bags, and to be honest, a HEPA-flow bag are probably fit straight on no doubt so that's what I'm going to be using stopped using paper bags a while ago so that's that, that's the machine, that's the filter yeah awesome little cleaner, really is, it's, just, it's so solid and um, see how heavy it is yeah it's um, considering it's pressed steel, not plastic. It's not actually that heavy, to be fair. It's not that much heavier than a, a Henry or something similar. But yeah, I can't wait to um, put this through its paces. I try and do. I try and do um, a quick demo video for you, just so you can see it in action here. Then over the coming weeks, when I'm back on the job, I'll um, try and do some videos of it in its. Uh, Natural environment, cleaning sort of communal areas and uh, you know things like that. So here it is. This is my my shiny new Kerstar, and uh, I hope it's going to last um, 
a long time. I hope to be doing a video of this in say 15, 20 years time possibly. But it's still going because they do last a long time. They're fantastically made. They really are. Anyway, thanks for watching chaps and uh, ladies. And I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye.